It's summertime, and when the temperatures heat up, the best way to cool down is with a big bowl of ice cream. Except the trouble is, every time you buy ice cream from the grocery store, I feel like you have to go digging around just to find anything in it. Tell There's me about it. There's never enough good stuff in We have in to there. put an end to that. We have to put an end to that. So we're trying to fix that. <laughs> it starts with really good quality ice cream. Plain flavors, preferably vanilla, chocolate, coffee, to which you can add whatever you want. Fresh fruit, dried fruit, cookies, candy, nuts, candy, syrup, sauces. sauces. Yeah, we've developed 12 really amazing flavors, uh, which you can use as a model to create your own. Um, we're going to demonstrate three of our favorite today. Mine is going to start with the coffee ice cream. You can see that I've cut it out of the carton rather than dig it out of the carton. And now I'm going to take this ice cream and then cut it into manageable pieces so that it's very easy to distribute my ingredients. Um, mine starts with some chocolate wafer cookies mm. and some crushed espresso beans. You, you don't want those whole in there. They're a little too big. That's a little intense, yeah. And then I'm going to fold in some whipped cream. I really oh, like nice. that a lot. Ooh, a and I found that you, you actually need um, two utensils to kind of incorporate this. Um, you want to kind of press on it, mash, fold, just get it barely incorporated and then you're done. Get it back in a bowl in the freezer and let it sit for a while. Let it season for just a little bit. I really did find that that helped the flavors develop. Well, I absolutely love banana pudding. Ooh. So I'm making the ice cream version of that. So I start with vanilla ice cream and then I'm going to add mashed bananas and vanilla wafers, which I've crushed up, and these really handy and delicious meringue cookies, which really sort of simulates that, uh, that meringue that you sometimes put on banana pudding. And then just mush it all together. I'm the resident chocolate lover in the family, so of <laughs> course I'm making chocolate with sort of turtle flavorings. I'm gonna add caramel, chocolate, and candied pralines to mine. So I'm gonna cut up my ice cream like Sharon and Mom did. I think that's brilliant because you don't want to get that big chunk of ice cream at the middle that has nothing in it. So we're gonna add all these flavors in. Mix it up. Transfer it back into the bowl. Put it in the freezer and then do the hard thing, which is to wait. So we've left these in the freezer for the bare minimum amount of time. And now it's time to see whose tastes best. <laughs> mm. Well, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week. In the meantime, for more recipes and videos, head over to 3